Well, good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever this video finds you. Um, uh, I haven't done a, a song devotional in a little while, and I um, thought I would share with you a song that we've been doing at our church. We started doing it at Easter, um, and it's just kind of been one we've been doing since then. Um, it's a perfect Easter song, but I think it can be sing, sang um, year-round, too. It's called Glorious Day. It's by Passion. Um, it's just, it's talking about our life before Christ and then the day that Christ entered our lives, um, and what a glorious day that was. And so, um, it kind of references Ephesians 2 a little bit. And so I just wanted to read to you, um, Ephesians 2, uh, 1 through 10, and it's talking about being made alive in Christ. And it says this, and this is, this is what's cool about this passage, is the first three verses are kind of like who we were and I'm so glad that there's a verse four um, because if there was just the verse first uh, three verses um, you know it says we are objects of wrath and so verse one as for you you were made you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Verse 3, all of us um, lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. Some translation says objects of wrath. But thank God for verse 4, because this is a but God statement. And um, it says, but because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Verse 5, And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Verse 8, we probably all know this verse. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. And it kind of finishes up that section with verse 10 by saying, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. That word handiwork, um, the, I think if I'm not mistaken, the Hebrew for that is Poinema. Uh, I'm probably butchering that. But it's kind of where we get poem. We are God's poem. Um, and that just kind of shed light um, when I found that out not too long ago. And it just brings it into clarity and kind of paints this awesome picture. Um, and so the thought is, you know, um, this song talks about um, I was buried in my sin. I, I, I needed rescue. Um, it talks about who we were and what we needed. And then it, it's, it, it lands on the glorious day when we ran out of that grave. So, I mean, there's a picture of being made alive. Um, and the thought that I've kind of been thinking of recently is that um, so many times we try to revisit our grave. And I hope that makes sense. It's like we try to go back and... Um, recover ourselves in the grave clothes we try to like some i guess another analogy would be sometimes we try to put the chains back on ourselves um but we were made free in christ we were made alive in christ and so um the challenge is let's function like that let's live like that let's not toy back let's not journey back to the grave and and enter back into the grave let's stay out of the grave let's stay alive and free in christ and so listen to the words of of this song i was buried beneath my shame who could carry that kind of weight it was my turn till I met you. I 
Easter season. I mean, that's what I plan to do just because it talks about I needed rescue, my chains were heavy, my sins were heavy, but chains break at the weight of your glory. I needed shelter, um, but now you call me a citizen of heaven. I mean, just powerful lyrics. Um, and so, just real quick, if you um, want to know what I'm playing, you can continue to watch. If you don't care, have a blessed day. Um, my guitar is tuned down a half step. And um, normally, I will still capo one and still play in D um, just to give it that different voicing. Um, but for this video, I, I just kept it the half step without the capo. So it's technically like I'm in D flat right now. Um, uh, but singing it in D, like um, since this is an anthem type song, um, it's really not too bad to just be projecting. Um, and so it just does, the verse just does single note stuff. So it's on this high D, well this is probably not a D, it's high D flat I guess, so it's just walking down, I'm just going to make it sound D chords, okay, um, so you're just doing that and then you go down to the, the B, to the G, that's all you're doing for the verse and it just kind of gives that neat kind of sound and then, um, and then so like, um, then it's just pretty much D, out of the darkness, G. 
into your glorious deed. You call my G and I ran out to the B minor that great. It's just a lot of times it's just on D custody. So that's pretty much it. The bridge kind of uses some of those same variations. So that's it's real simple to play, real fun to play. And the church, like, uh, it's been getting great response from our congregation. You know, people just shouting out, I ran out of that grave. So, um, anyways, hope this blesses you. Have a good rest of the day and the week.